Hi everybody, uh, just a quick miniatures size comparison for um, various World War II ranges that I've uh, been using since I've been painting World War II figures. I always find these are really helpful. Um, it's the sort of thing I'm always looking out for actually on YouTube. If I ever embark on something new, I like to see what figures kind of match or don't match. It's a bit of a pain when you buy a load of stuff and then find out they don't mix with half your other things. Depends how fussy you are really, I mean uh, I'm not massively fussy if if it's if they're thereabouts I don't mind. Um, it's when they're like really noticeably different like 25, 28 mil and there's like a, a huge difference between them. But generally I try not to sort of let it bother me too much. But anyway I can't actually fit these all in one shot, I've got eight different ones here. Uh, but I'll just go across like that. So the first one on the end here is a plastic warlord, uh, British infantry. I've put one of the Sikh heads on him because uh, I bought uh, 24 uh, of those, a pack of 24 Sikh heads because um, obviously they were a huge part of the British Army in World War II. Um, and obviously it's something different to your standard British infantry to paint as well. Um, so yeah, that's a plastic warlord. Right, before I go in detail, then I'll just go through them. Plastic warlord, that's a metal warlord, um, veteran grenadier. That's a metal warlord, Italian infantryman. That's an artisan panzer grenadier. That's a crusader British airborne. That's an assault group Panzer Grenadier. They're metal, by the way. This is a plastic Perry Desert Rat, 8th Army, British. And that's a metal Perry 8th um, Army. Or North African campaign, anyway. So, yeah, you can see pretty much that the scales are pretty, they match fairly well, really. The Italian is a bit small, I've got to say, you know, compared to the I mean, these are three Warlord figures. The Italian figure is a bit small. Um, I don't know if it's his pose or what, but it seems a bit short. Um, maybe if I dig out some other ones, it um, might be slightly different, you know, if it's standing a bit more upright, but yeah, Warlord, they should all match each other really, shouldn't they? So, yeah, that's three Warlord ones. Um, the Artisan and Crusader, they match quite well, both fairly chunky styles, um, probably slightly chunkier than the Warlord stuff. Uh, assault Group, they're a, a kind of, I would say sort of middle between um, Warlord and Artisan as far as the sort of build of them. They're uh, not as chunky as artisans, but slightly chunkier than warlords, probably. And then Perry ones, now they're, I would say they're quite noticeably different, aren't they? In size, generally. They've got a bit shorter and a lot more slender. I mean, Perry's are known for being more realistically proportioned, I suppose, than everything else. Um, would I use them all? Would, uh, would I use the Perrys with the, the rest of them? I'm not sure. I mean, they are quite different. I'll swap the metal and plastic ones over in case there's any sort of real difference. But you know, you can see there is a bit of a difference there, especially compared to. The Crusader ones, I suppose, and the Artisan. And there he is in between, like two, you see, totally different kind of build and everything. Uh, I don't know, I mean, I suppose all that individual choice, isn't it, whether you, you would sort of feel comfortable with them all mixed together. I mean, the Perry figures are brilliant, um, can't deny that. I mean, the metal ones particularly. The I found the plastic desert wrap 
nice figures but um, a bit sort of soft if you know what I mean detail wise in some of them and by the way these two Perry ones have got backpacks that I bought separately from Perry miniatures metal backpacks added onto them because I don't think troop uh, soldiers look right without backpacks and it also bulks them out a bit um, yeah I mean they are lovely figures the Perry ones but um, they are noticeably different I suppose well there's no supposing they're noticeably different to the rest of the ranges I've used uh, but yeah I mean that's gives you an idea there again Warlord plastic, Warlord metal, Warlord metal, Italian artisan metal, Crusader metal, Perry metal, Assault Group metal, and Perry plastic. Uh, so hopefully that's of some use to anybody who's interested in this sort of um, period, World War Two. Um, yeah, I mean, it's a bit odd that the Italian's quite a lot shorter than the, the British and the German there. Um, so I don't know if it's the pose, but um, I'm looking for some more Italians actually, because uh, it's not a massive choice, to be honest. So I'd like to sort of bulk them out a bit. Um, but yeah, that's uh, hopefully that's of use to someone. Um, personally, with the Perry, the size difference in the Perrys, not going to bother me that much because pretty much all my um, North African stuff is all Perry. I've got, uh, I bought quite a few packs of the metal uh, sets, and I've got about three boxes of the plastic desert racks, and then I've got um, about three boxes of their Africa core box set, plastics, and again a load of the metal ones. So um, when it comes to me doing the North Africa theatre, it's all going to be Perry anyway, so it's not going to bother me there. I'll, I've pretty much got everything I need by Perry, and Perry pretty much cover the whole, the whole thing quite comprehensively. So I wouldn't need to go looking for other manufacturers to sort of fill out the um, North African theatre for when I get round to it. So uh, yeah, whether you, you know, I mean look at the difference there between the Crusader and the Perry, it's um, quite noticeable isn't it? So again, it's sort of choice isn't it, personal choice whether you would feel that they would mix or not on your table really. I mean, this is a fairly you know close up video. Um, once you're sort of in a, in a game and it's all um, not so zoomed in, would you really notice? Yeah, you know, I don't know. Um, but anyway, hopefully that is of some use to anyone interested in this er uh, period. Um, yeah, I think this is the third uh, miniatures comparison I've done. And I've probably got you know, plenty more I could do when I get onto different things. But uh, yeah, I think that's about it for now, so hopefully you've enjoyed this video and it's been of some use to you. Um, thanks for watching anybody who has, and take care everyone. Bye.